Welcome to an instant. My name is Ben and today we're doing something a little bit different. I'm going to show you how to print awesome textured 3D Polaroids so you can proudly display the magic of your instant photography in a little bit of a bigger size. So everyone can enjoy it and not just you, you selfish little piece of shit. The kind of photography that would become part of the human being. Press a button and have the picture. So when it comes to instant film, enlargements aren't exactly the first thing that comes to mind. Polaroids are inherently not very sharp. You can scan them at a high resolution and print them dumbo jumbo dump truck big, but it can be hit or miss. Polaroid actually heavily marketed their own enlargement service in film packs prior to 2008 and it's kind of hilarious. I mean, they treat it like you're gonna be getting a high res print of a 35 millimeter negative, but like the US government claiming JFK was assassinated by only one shooter, that was a lie. Personally, I don't mind it. I think Polaroids look pretty neat blown up, like looking at a comically oversized champagne bottle or seeing a life-size Buzz Lightyear at Disney World and actually kind of being freaked out by his eyebrows, eyes, chin, and teeth, not to mention his uh, copyrighted wagon. At any rate, uh, a couple Christmases ago, I came up with a fun solution to the predicament of how best to inflate these pictures. I actually had one of these 3D photos made for Joan Michelle, and she seemed a little bit confused about what to do with it, but uh, if you're watching this video, Joan, and you still haven't assembled it properly, I will teach you. In fact, in this video, I will show you how to prepare a Polaroid scan for enlargement, how to use the template I will be providing link in the description, how to place that design file into the website that does the printing, and finally, how to configure the final product. Make a nice little 3D bad boy like this. Speaking of the final product, essentially what we are doing here is placing a high-res scan of a Polaroid onto a faux-wrapped canvas. The irony is that I really don't like photographs on wrapped canvases, I don't really like the look. I'm not sure if I'm out on a limb here, but I think it looks kind of tacky. Drop a comment below if you hate my guts for saying that. But the reason this works for me is that we're only using the canvas to create a 3D effect that includes the Polaroid border. We're not using it for the canvassy nature of it. And the texture of the faux canvas sort of simulates the texture of a Polaroid frame. And overall, that just works for me. I think, I think they print beautifully, they're very light, so a, a small thumbtack can carry this on the wall. And they're relatively inexpensive. You can get a 12 by 14 inch 3D Polaroid made for like, 12 to 24 bucks, depending on the sales available at the time, which I'll get to later. And a note here, these printed examples are of course round frame, and I will include a template for that, but I'm gonna walk you through the rest of the process using a traditional square Polaroid because it's a little bit more common. So now that you know what we're doing, let me take you through the steps of printing one of your own. The first thing you have to do is scan your Polaroid. For best practices on that, I have a whole video you can watch, but I would say scan your Polaroid on a flatbed scanner at about 600 DPI. Once you have your scan in Photoshop or whatever free editing software you have, you might wanna sharpen it a little bit and boost the saturation. I find that in printing and enlarging, there can be a dullness that emerges from instant film. You know, it wasn't really intended for this purpose, and you can compensate for that by doing something like Smart Sharpen in Photoshop, boost the saturation a little bit, not going overboard. You're just trying to get the photo sort of back to the place that it looked when you were holding it in your hands. Now that you have this file, you can open up one of the templates, which are included, again, as downloads in the dang description. There is a JPEG if you're working with a program other than Photoshop, but your easiest option will be a PSD. Uh, it's just the easiest thing to work with. I have some of the presets in there, um, but you can use either. If you open the PSD, you will see a black square where we want to align our scan. I like to set the Polaroid to a lower opacity and kind of align it that way. You don't want to move the black box. It's there for a reason. Then you can command click on the square, which selects the area we want of the Polaroid. Right click on the Polaroid layer, layer from copy. Make sure your opacity is back to 100. Delete the original scan layer, leaving us with just the image, no border. The reason we do this is that the template I made is specifically measured to give us a border with the faux canvas because it wraps around it and enables us to get a clean 3D look without a white textured border from the scan going just to the front edge and then not continuing down the sides. This provides us with sort of a seamless look. And once you've done that, this is optional, but sometimes I will add a slight inner glow or an inner shadow, which I have on the square layer. This adds a subtle inset to the picture, which Polaroids have to the naked eye, and you can copy the layer style from the black square layer and paste it onto the image. It's very subtle, voila. I usually now make the black square layer invisible just in case any of it's peeking out behind our Polaroid. All right, 
Save this file as a JPEG, and now we're well on our way to printing it. Following the link in description, we will be heading to Zazzle.com, which is a print to order website I've been using since I was 13 years old, no joke. I used to make tons of designs and sell them on there. I uh, kind of made straight cash on Zazzle. Probably wasn't exactly legal due to my age. But anyway, now I don't sell things on there anymore. I just use it for printing. It's extremely high quality. Uh, it's my number one trusted service for printing. The shipping's great. Uh, they've, and they've, you know, they've got stuff like this cool canvas product that we can work with. Make sure 12 by 14 is selected. That seems to be the closest realistic proportions in my opinion. Uh, you'll see the price up there can vary quite a bit. Zazzle always has discount codes. Nothing is ever really full price on Zazzle. So just Google Zazzle discount codes and there's also usually one like at the top of the page too. Anyway, click add image, then go over to upload images. Now click fill on this layer. This is very important for alignment. And now you can see our proportions are looking good. It's looking like a Polaroid within the fold lines. Just click done and there you go. Smash that order button. You can add new images to it, order a bunch of them. Once it arrives, it comes flat like this with a bunch of folds built into it. And I'm gonna build this one up right now. Hope I don't f this up. This is the only one <laughs> that I have uh, unbuilt. So uh, all you have to do is take four pieces of adhesive and apply them to the outside of the Polaroid on these outer folds. Joan, if you still haven't done this, <laughs> uh, keep an eye out. Um, yeah, so it's, it's very easy. You just basically are applying four pieces of adhesive and then folding it over. It's, it's sort of a very economical design. Uh, and it's nice that they include the adhesives because, uh, you know, you just want to get this stuff and set it up and uh, proudly display your Polaroids as quickly as possible. Shipping from Zazzle is actually very reasonable. They'll get it to you quick. Uh, I've just had great experiences on Zazzle. It's, it's a weird website again to recommend, but it's always worked for me. Okay, what the f Okay, now that I've applied the adhesives to all four outer corners, all these little side flaps, um, it's very simple. From here, you're just folding, hopefully you can see this. You're just folding this in. You're just folding everything sort of in. And it's, this is all like preset. There's nothing you can really screw up here. And then you're just sticking it into the sides. And there you have it. It's as simple as that. Now you have your very own 3D Polaroid print. It's pretty cool. I just really like these things. Um, I'm gonna sort of keep ordering them for shots that I really dig and probably just put them all in a row. I mean, you can do some really cool displays with these. They're very large and just visually appealing. And that's what we're, that's what we're doing out here. Thank you so much for watching in an instant. Go ahead and enlarge that subscribe button and then smash it a little bit. Uh, check out the Patreon. The Patreon is supporting the channel. I really appreciate everybody who's donated to the Patreon. There's a link in the description for that. A lot of links in the description today. Um, and of course, stay tuned for more guides, shoots, breakdowns, reviews, and all things instant. Bye.